Hello family, I hope everyone's doing well. I am. So, we're going to um, get right into this. We cook smoked turkey necks today. So, I um, have them here in the crock pot. Like so, we have our crock pot here. I'll slide that back. And they are done, so we're going to take them out. And then we have our corn on the cob. So here we go. That's one. Ooh, That's two. That's a big one. That's three. What I did is I put about a uh, not even a quarter of a cup of water, you know, but you can gauge it and, and you can put a quarter of a cup of water in your slow cooker. And being that I was here all day today with it, I, um, you know, I was able to watch it on high. So I let it cook for an hour and then I um, sprinkled some lemon pepper seasoning in and I also... put some Italian seasoning in that was at the hour mark and I let it cook and so I also like I said I have um, some corn on the cob here so I'm going to get that out we'll take that out now it's a very nice day here today um, not too hot you know so that was a great thing okay here we go so I'm going to take this out so we have this here and I mixed up um, some barbecue sauce because these are going to be barbecue smoked neck, uh, you know, necks or turkey necks, I should say, Bar or barbecue smoked turkey necks. So here's my uh, barbecue sauce here. I have half an avocado smashed up here, you know, you can see that. That's the consistency I have. So I have the avocado in here. I put a tablespoon of pesto, um, you know, sauce in here. And you can use any brand that you like. You know, like I say all the time, if you have a nut allergy, make sure you check the labels, you know, because um, you don't want to, um, you know, eat something that might cause you a problem. Now, not all brands have nuts in them, and you can make this yourself. It's easy. And then you won't, you know, you can omit uh, cashews or walnuts, you know, if you have an allergy. So that's there, like so. Okay, so then what I did is I waited two more hours and I put some basil leaves. These are ground up. About three or four dashes of this, if you like, you know, to your taste. I put just a little bit of this turmeric in here today and then I have the parsley flakes so I put some of those in and then what I did is I got a quarter of a cup of water and I poured it in and that you know helped um, move the spices around because you know they were on top of the meat and so that way it was gradually able to you know work its way down the meat into the pot and then as a uh, the seasonings warmed up with the juices and everything that brought that up into the uh, smoked turkey necks. Family, I'd like to ask you at this point to subscribe and like. I love your company. Okay, so I let that go. You know, like I said, I was able to watch it. But guess what, family? Here we go.
These are the barbecue smoke turkey necks. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. And um, these were cooked in the crock pot with those last three that I took out. It's just before we uh, got together here, I, I got these out and I glazed them. So, I glazed them up with um, barbecue sauce. And then I also had the barbecue sauce with the pesto, um, this, mixed up. So barbecue sauce, uh, tomato paste, you know, and so I washed, they say wash, you can use a, you know, a little, uh, you can use your spoon if you like, you can use a brush if you like, it's what you want to use, but I placed that over some of the uh, smoked turkey necks, and then I um, just put uh, regular barbecue sauce on some of the others, and then, you know, I got this, uh, I call it my masterpiece, our masterpiece, that's what we got. So, the corn, that was in the pot for 20 minutes. Uh, just a dash of salt added in that. And um, I had four pieces of corn. So here's the other one here. And what I, you see what I did? So what I did with that is I used some of the um, barbecue sauce with the pesto added in. That's what I did, family. And I glazed that over that piece of corn because that's what I'm gonna like. And also, there's paprika sprinkled on this, you know. So what I did first is, um, once I took this out of the pot, I got me like a half a teaspoon of butter and I just went over this corn with it. Instead of dipping it and rolling it, I just, uh, you know, took the brush and went over the corn. And then I, um, added the um, paprika and I then put the um, spiced up barbecue sauce with the pesto you know added into it so I was able to get that um, going and I uh, you know know that it's uh, gonna be amazing but look at this family once you see this you see watch this Look at the meat. Can you see? Look at that. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You see this? You see? Look at that. Look. See how easy that comes off? Isn't that beautiful? And then you could just cook. You can go to work on that, you know. You can go straight to work on that. So, um, that's a hearty meal. You know, I should say, that's a hearty meal. Uh, no one's going to be without uh, any uh, protein, you know, meat-wise, uh, with this dish. Because um, it's all there. So, you have that. And then it depends, you know, if you want to eat rolls with this or if you want to have uh, bread with this. You know, you can have you know, a couple of slices of bread or you can have some rolls with this. I mean, it's up to you, family, what you uh, prefer to have. But I wanted to do this with you today. And as I said before, I enjoy your company. That's why I ask you to like and subscribe because I really enjoy your company. It makes my day, you know, it, it really does. It helps make my day. So with that being said, we're gonna look at this again. There we go. And as always, I love you, I love you, I love you. And I know you love me. And family, always, always remember to love yourself. Love yourself first. Okay, we'll get together again soon. Love you. Bye.